Hello friends. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to determine the equation of a straight line. We would be also discussing about the point slope form and various other forms and how to find out the slopes and intercept from the equation of the straight line. So let's get started. So starting with the point slope form. Point slope form is expressed in this form wherein we have y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1 which means that if we are given one point that means say 3 and minus 2 and also the slope and we have to determine the equation of the straight line. So here if for an example if we are given 3 and minus 2 our point is 3 and minus 2 we take x1 as 3 y1 as minus 2 and the slope is represented by m. So m is equals to minus 2 and using these we would find out the equation of the straight line. So we will just substitute the values which will be y minus y1 equals to m which is minus 2 x minus x1. So this will give us y plus 2 equals to minus 2x plus 6 and eventually we could also shift it that way so this would be somewhere this that means y is equal to 2x minus 2x plus 4. This will give us the equation of the straight line wherein the slope is minus 2 and the intercept is 4. So this form which we have just got is actually the slope intercept form wherein the slope is represented as minus 2 and the intercept is 4. So we can say that this is expressed in the form y is equal to mx plus c wherein our slope is equal to m and the intercept is equal to c. So after the slope intercept form we also have two point form wherein we are given two points and we have to find the equation of that line using those two points but the slope is not given directly. So we will try to find the slope using the coordinates. So here suppose for an example we are given 1 minus 2, 3 and minus 1 and we have to find the equation of the straight line passing through these two points. So then we would be using this formula wherein x1 is equal to 1 and y1 is equal to minus 2, x2 is equal to 3 and y2 is equal to minus 1. So we would get y minus y1 equals to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 x minus x1 and after simplifying we could also get y plus 2 equals to minus 1 plus 2 upon 2 x minus 1 so after simplifying we could get y is equal to x by 2 minus 5 by 2 this means that this equation is now expressed in the slope intercept form wherein the slope which is m is equal to 1 by 2 that is the coefficient of x and the c which is the intercept is represented as minus 5 by 2. Now coming to the general equation, the general equation could be expressed as ax plus by plus c is equals to 0 wherein a, b and c are the arbitrary constants and except that both a and b are equal to 0. So in this particular type of equation, the slope can be represented as minus a by b, which are the coefficients of x and y. For example, if we have this equation, which is 4x minus 5y plus 20 equals to 0, and we have to find the slope. So we can find the slope using this formula, which is minus a by b. So here slope is equals to minus a, which is the coefficient of x, divided by b which is the coefficient of y. We will not exclude the signs. We have to include the signs also. So the slope is 4 by 5. And we can also find this value of slope using any other forms. So coming to the next part, if two lines are parallel to each other, that means that the slopes are equal to each other. That means if line L1 has the slope M1 and line L2 has the slope M2, then M1 would be equal to M2. But if two lines are perpendicular to each other, that means the product of their slopes would be equal to minus 1. 
Now let's understand the concept with the help of this example. Suppose we have to find out the equation of a line passing through the point minus 2 minus 4 and which is parallel to the line 8x minus 2y plus 3. Then how can we find the equation of that new line? So for that we know that if two lines are parallel the slopes will be equal to each other. That means the line, the equation of the line that we want to find out that slope of that line is equal to the slope of this. So we will try to express this in the form of y is equal to mx plus c form because we have to find out the slope. So after shifting all the other elements that side so we will get y is equal to 4x plus 3 by 2. This means this is expressed in the form y is equal to mx plus c. The slope will be equal to 4. And since we know the slope, we can use that slope for this equation. So the equation of the line which we want to find out will have slope equal to 4 and will pass through this point. So here we have the slope equal to 4. And we have the point which is minus 2 and minus 4. So the equation of the line is y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1. y minus y1 is minus 4. m is 4. x minus x1. We are just substituting the values. And we would get y is equal to 4x plus 4. So this is the equation of the new line which is passing through the point minus 2 minus 4 and which is also parallel to the line 8x minus 2y plus 3. So let's consider another example wherein we have been given a point 3 1 and we have to find the equation of the line which is passing through the point 3 1 and which is parallel to the line passing through these two points. So our motive is to find the slope of this particular line so that we can use that slope and find out the new equation. So m is equal to, that means the slope is also equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. We have these points as x1, y1, x2 and y2. We are just substituting the values. y2 y minus minus 2 upon minus 6 minus 3 which will give us 7 upon minus 9. So the slope of this line is minus 7 by 9. And now since we have got the slope minus 7 by 9 and we have also got the point which is 3 1. So we will find the equation which has the slope minus 7 by 9 and which is passing through the point 3 and 1. We know the equation y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. So we have just substituted the values minus 7 by 9 x plus 21 by 9 plus 1. This is the equation of the new line which is passing through the point 3 1 and which is parallel to the line which is passing through these two points. Now suppose we have to find the equation of the line which passes to the point minus 1, minus 2 but perpendicular to the line passing through these two points then we know that product of the slopes would be equal to minus 1. So first we will find the slope of the line passing through these two points. So we know that m would be equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. This will give us slope equal to 3. So that slope and the slope of the line passing through this point, the product of the slopes would be equal to minus 1. So that means the slope of the required line would be equal to minus 1 by 3. Because then only their product would be equal to minus 1. So the slope of the required line would be m2 which will be equal to minus 1 by 3. So now we have to find the equation of the line which has the slope minus 1 by 3 and which passes through the point minus 1 minus 2. So we know the formula y minus y1 equal to m x minus x1.
minus minus becomes plus. So it will be equal to y plus 2 equal to minus x by 3 minus 1 by 3. Finally become minus x by 3 minus 1 by 3 minus 2 and we could further solve it. So this gives the slope equal to minus 1 by 3 and we got the required equation which passes through the point minus 1 minus 2 but which is perpendicular to the line passing through these two points. Likewise, we could also get any equation of the line which is passing through any point and which is perpendicular to the other line. I hope your concepts regarding the equation of the straight line and the slopes and intercepts are clear now. Thank you.